Greetings and salutations, my name is JW608, and today I am playing Star Maid. And today we want to talk about AMS turrets, our anti-missile system turrets. Uh, you will probably hear me mistakenly call them anti-matter turrets, because I don't know why, it's just what I do. And so we're going to make a very basic AMS turret. And we're going to do it from scratch, and test it even. So first of all, you need to put down a... Uh, Axis tur or turret axis. Uh, I also need to grab a Bobby AI. You need some weapon, or specifically a cannon computer, some cannon barrels, uh, mass enhancers. I threw a bunch down just so we're good. The Bobby AI, if your turret's sluggish, throw more mass enhancers on the mothership. And also a, um, a block for just building stuff. And let's get started. We're going to make a very simple. Um, MS turret. So first of all, we need to set the base. Ooh, there we go. All right. And now we will middle click into the base and I'll by not set some symmetry here. Uh, we're going to make it this tall. All right. And turn off our symmetry. And this design is similar-ish to one I've used in the past and works more or less. So let's see, let's create another docker here. We want to put its core here and make sure your your cores are aligned the same. There we go. All right. So if I middle click here, I'm able to get the all the uh, movements. Hit C to center the turret. That makes life so much easier. And what we want is two cannon computers and a Bobby AI module. It's generally best to line up the Bobby AI module with the main weapon computer. And we're gonna we're gonna link those together. And let's grab some symmetry. And there we go. Just rip that part off. And now we have free movement. When building a turret, it's always good to check your movement every so often to see if you've placed a block that uh, that um, doesn't move quite right. Hey, that's neat. Um, if you look to the right here, this speed indicator kind of matches up fairly well with that texture. Anyway, uh, let's see. We also would like some cannon barrels. We're going to go with, oh, I don't know. Ten, oh. Come on, work with me. Nope, that one. All right, and we're going to start here. There we go. This is a, uh, oops, undo that. Well, that just didn't work out at all. Ooh, two, four, eh. This is going to be a good size DMS turret because we want it to work. <laughs> this is just a backstop. All right. Uh, why not come down here a little? And again, check my range of motion. It's now I'm hitting the the platform or something. Ah, I'm hitting. I'm hitting the base here. So if I made that one taller, I could go three sixty. Well, not quite three sixty, but close. So there we go. We have a little base, and let's. Let's do fives. All right. Uh, things don't need to be connected. I just like to connect them. And we're going to give lots of outputs. This is overkill, by the way. And I do want... Um, I guess I, I do want... 100% cannon. Cannon. So it's going to be really shooty. Why do you want it to be really shooty? Uh, because missiles move fast. And star made AI is kind of dumb. Alright, so now. This is like mega overkill. This is if you absolutely want to fry the missile. <laughs> Probably do it. Well, no, I know you can do it much less than this. But as a demonstration. 
So do we want to tell it it's a turret? You can't activate it quite yet. Uh, you want missile priority to whatever you want to set it at and aim at missiles. Now you can have it random, so it'll fire at whatever missile the AI wants to. The lowest damage missile, the highest damage missile. I typically leave it on highest, although sometimes I have some on highest, some on lowest. Depends on my mood that day. But if you only have a couple, you want them on the highest, so they take care of the greatest threats first. All right, so I also want one more thing before we get started. I want a button. No, I don't want a button. Uh, you can activate or uh, link up a um, logic to a, a Bobby AI, but since we're going to be doing it this way, we don't have to do that. Let's turn on the turret. It is now set and waiting and ready to find a missile. Oh, look, I have a, a vessel that has missiles. Oh, and horrible camera angles. Still horrible camera angles. There we go. Uh, what you saw me do was I unlinked the, um, the uh, beam there. Because I don't want it to be a homing missile. I want it to just be a straight missile. And firing this close, you can see the turret try to try to get it, but it's not going to. We are like way too close for a missile. Or for AMS turrets. You want some range on them. Okay. Why are we not firing? What's wrong with you? All right, hold up. Getting AMS to fire it... Fire it things is not always the easiest. Why are you pointing down? The missile's over there. Why are you moving so slow? Ah. See, always test your... Always test your missiles. And once you have a good turret um once you have a good turret blueprint it all right so what's wrong you need more mass enhancers and sometimes uh turrets just don't work don't know can't explain it they just refuse to work sometimes Sometimes reloading gets it better. I'm going to snap back that way. So let's hop out and... Oh, oh no, I have a rocket launcher. And I am going to go into my faction. I'm going to leave the faction. Cancel. I am want to... Uh, yeah, we're going to turn it to a public faction and leave the faction. All right. Oh, no. Never mind, my faction just obliterated itself. Okay. Uh, having factions also throws off... Throws off um, what turrets will look at and try to attack. Come on. You know you want to... Okay. So it's trying to track it. Maybe... Maybe if we cut down a little on the bulk here. Let's see. Uh, there we go. Let's give it a little XY here. And let's give it a little um, remove mode. There we go. There. That should still be more than enough for a MS turret. All right. So we've deactivated the thing because we got in it. Let's activate it is a turret and we fire and it tracks it and again we are very close see it has to be almost that distance to actually even work so that was our problem there it was a little too bulky all right little too bulky couldn't didn't have good turn still doesn't have good turning come on and also we may have been in the same faction we shouldn't have been, but we may have been. And that is a basic AMS turret. Now let's try it. Try it like this. 
Alright. Come here. Alright, we're gonna see if we can hit. Why are you firing so slowly? Why are you firing so slowly? All right. As I said, sometimes turrets just don't work. So we're going to go to the main menu. And we're going to hop back in. And see if it... Uh, see if it uh, fixes itself. Because that thing should be firing violently. And now it's just not tracking at all. Of course, it's not tracking at all. All right, well, you saw it work, but that's just me and turrets. Sometimes they just... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, that's that's me. There we go. It saw that one. And they have to be a distance out before it'll actually fire. AMS turrets are no longer as useful as they used to be. That's another thing, because I'm expecting, because I'm an old school Star Made player, I'm expecting a different, um, different behavior from the turret. That's also why I'm, there we go. We restarted and it's, it's doing better now. All right. As I've said, AI just sometimes just, Stops working, doesn't work. Sometimes half your turrets will work properly. The other half will think they're like a door or something and just sit there. I don't know. Go. And also, I'm at a very, very close range. They don't work very well at very close ranges. Anyway, they, they don't behave like they used to. Used to be um, AMS turrets were overpowered. Like, severely overpowered. They could kill any missile in one hit. That's not the case anymore. Now, missiles have hit points. So they actually have to kill the missile with their guns. And that's why I add lots of, um, lots of outputs. Because there's more chance of it actually hitting. In fact, we could do... Um, set this up to volley mode. Active and deactivate. So you can go that. You set it to volley mode if it ever aims at it. There. Notice volley mode, they didn't fire all at once, but it's rapid fire. So that might actually be better. There. I like that better. Huh. But it's also ta that missile's tanking a lot of that damage. Because it's it's a missile. So you'll have to find the perfect balance of outputs and power and how big you actually want your AMS turret to be. I don't like enormous ones, but you probably need an enormous one if you're going to fight a ship with enormous missile output. Volley, by the way, that mode, um, it just makes... Not all the outputs fire at the same time. Oh, I decided to reposition. And why are you so slow? You shouldn't be that heavy, and I have enough, more than enough of those. Huh. Don't know. As I've said before, sometimes turrets just don't work right. Can't explain it. And let's go back to simultaneous and fire another missile. And it goes pew, pew, pew. Actually, it goes pew, pew. There we go. That's better. I don't know if I saw much of a difference. Anyway, this is the basics on how to build an AMS turret. You must use cannon. No other weapon does damage to missiles. Um... That you're going to have to find your own balance, the way you like, how you like, what works for you. And uh, I have not found that perfect balance yet. So I just shield tank. 
Anywho, I have been JW608, this has been Star Mage, and I will dig you cats later.